Okay, Nitsiko X. Nistone di Tanago Manot Danagapi. My Blackfoot name is Firstborn Grandson. Uh, my English name is Bryce Minifinger Singer, and I am from the Ganon Nation. I've been drawing for as long as I can remember. Um, the first things I remember drawing were probably dinosaurs. And I didn't have role models, so I didn't, I didn't know being an artist was like a thing you could do. Everything was from dollar store materials. So I started from like the very bottom, and then as you progress, then you're exposed to more um, quality stuff. Going back to the dollar store, like art stuff, like I just, I really care about limitations. So like I have to be, um, use up everything that I have so I'm very I don't I try not to use too much color and then I stick to mostly our four colors which is yellow black red and white and then for the past two three years I had to learn how to do um, more digital related artwork stuff because of the pandemic and you can't be in person with anybody so it's easier to send art through email um, definitely plants botany like all of that just being on the land right that's it kind of um having that relationship and knowing what's here what wasn't here there's a lot of invasive species and you know um everything all of our plants most of them have a story and i love when i can find the stories or even the blackfoot name which is so, so rare for me um some of the plants that i'm into I like the ones that are edible because that's kind of goes back to our diet as needs it to be. Yeah. I pull a lot of my inspiration from Beverly Hungry Wolves' uh, ways of my grandmother's. So these two would kind of be by themselves. There's stories for these two definitely, but these three specifically at the top is its own short story, which is based on uh, Weasel Tail and Hay Woman, and they were basically this couple who used to go on to the war trails, and yeah, they be in war and they'd always be together, and I thought that was really unique because, you know, they always say that women weren't able to go to war, but, you know, that's definitely false, especially with colonization and patriarchy. Um, so, yeah, I pull a lot of um, my inspiration from a lot of uh, Blackfoot literature. And for a lot of us, we're very um, visual people. So it's nice to um, be one of the first people to actually turn it into an image so people can um, kind of see themselves in the artwork too. I, you can see from a few of these, I don't draw the face because I want people to, you know, I guess, throw themselves into the artwork too. You can see my work at um, the Galt Museum or Tourism Lethbridge um, in Calgary at the um, Rothney Astrophysical Observatory. Um, the Red Crow Community College that was just built um, late last year and now um, there's students there. But I definitely want to encourage other artists, right? This, um, for me, I just wanted to create sort of a mat and that so other um, younger artists kind of have someone to look up to and going down this road, I just want to make sure that we're still a community and that we're collaborating. You know, I love learning from other artists and that's kind of why I agreed to do the market as well, to just kind of um, meet others in the area. It's such a small art community. And yeah, just to encourage uh, the youth to look into these stories, to ask questions, ask their grandparents, elders, so that these stories can continue and the knowledge of the plants as well.